hey guys welcome back to civil learning online and today in this video i am going to discuss about an example which is based upon on the calculation of the absolute maximum share and this is a special video because this problem was given to me by a viewer and uh, through this video i am going to help you all guys who are learning uh, currently in french line diagram and uh, i have created a separate playlist about the influence line diagram and there are almost 13 videos total of 13 videos and you can assess them through the link in the description and uh, this numeric this numerical is going to add an extra concept about the calculation of the absolute maximum share when the loading is udl you might have uh, seen many uh, point load moving point loads uh, in, and uh, we are asked to calculate the absolute share but here it is udl so let us see how the solution of this numerical is done without any further delay Let us read read the question first and the question says a vehicle which is idealized as the uniformly distributed load over a length of 10 meter means here it is a vehicle which is idealized as a uniformly distributed load of uh, intensity 20 kN per meter for the span of 10 meter moves ag across the simple beam shown here it is the simple beam AV as shown in the figure draw the influence line for shear at section 1 1 this is section 1 1 and we are asked to draw the shear force diagram of this beam a b at this section 1 1 and uh, the first question is calculate and label the ordinate of the influence line diagram we need to calculate when after drawing the influence line diagram at section 1 1 we need to calculate the ordin value of the ordinate and i'm going to teach you how to calculate the ordinate here and the second question is calculate the maximum absolute value of Sear at section 1 1 caused by the vehicle as it moves across the structure. So, this moving load is moving from left to right. This load is moving from left to right, and we are asked to calculate the value of the maximum sear uh, at this section 1 1. So, how we can do this for that? Let us first draw the influence line diagram for, uh, for the sear at section 1 1, and then we will find the ordinate. And then after we will place this load udl on this beam and then we will calculate the value of the absolute maximum shear at section 1 1 so uh, here i have drawn the baseline for the drawing the influence line diagram and guys whenever you are solving any numerical and you are asked to calculate the shear at any section at any section whether that section is denoted by section 1 1 or a b c d anyway anywhere simply draw a straight line below that section this is a trick and uh, actually the influence line diagram is based about the, the position of unit load along the span and uh, if you want to, to know learn in this in detail then please check out the my previous video you can simply go in the playlist and watch some of the video based upon the calculation of the share I, there i have clearly mentioned and uh, if you are learning uh, directly for the exam then it won't it is valid and it won't create any kind of difficulty whenever you are asked to calculate the share at any section simply draw a straight line and uh, let this be a and this is b and uh, whenever and from here uh, so draw a triangle make this a triangle make this a triangle from here to here and similarly from here to here so this is going to be the diagram for the shear at section 1 1 and uh, this is actually the portion of the reaction at a and this is the this is the re value of the reaction at b but while drawing the influence line diagram for the shear at any section we do not need to represent this portion so now we need to calculate the value of the ordinate means uh, if i name uh, write the name of this point here uh, let this be p dash and uh, let this be p double dash and let this be m then we need to calculate the height of p m p dash m and m p double dash so how we can do this here so simply cover this this much portion lower portion and we can see here we have a bigger triangle here like this and uh, the value of the actually the height of this line is increasing from 0 to 1 1 here the value is 1 but we do not need to use this concept here so simply see here whenever we are calculating the ordinate 
uh, in shear simply we have the value of ordinate equals to x upon l and what is x and what is l see here the value of this x is 0 and it is increasing along this line and here it will be equal to 25 means here x is will be equals to 1 and here the ordinate will be 1 when this is x what is x here see here x is distance from this point up to this point so here it is 25 meter and this is 5 meter so our x value is going to be 20 meter so here it will be 20 upon l is the whole span of this bigger triangle bigger triangle l is the whole span of this bigger triangle so 20 upon 25 whole span is 25 so we have the value of ordinate equals to 20 so 4 4 5 4 times and 5 5 times 20 so we have value of ordinate equals to 4 upon 5 similarly now cover this upper triangle and we will have here again x value is increasing from 0 up to here it will be 5 the value of x will be from 0 to this point will be 5 so x upon l equals to 5 upon whole span whole span is our 25 so 25 because we have covered this triangle and l is going to be from 0 to 25 and when x will be equals to when x will be equals to l then here the ordinate will be 1 this is the if we consider this whole triangle bigger triangle that that is the reaction at support b similarly if this upper triangle is reaction at support a but we are you for a seer we need to omit this much portion and we need to five use the that much up to the that much portion at which we are asked to calculate the shear so we have calculated now the value of this is 5 5 times so it will be 1 upon 5 now our first question is completed we are asked to calculate and label the ordinate of the influence line diagram so we have calculated the ordinate we have calculated the ordinate of the influence line diagram now calculate the maximum absolute value of the shear at the section 1 1 now see here guys you need to understand this step very carefully see here we are calculate asked to calculate the maximum absolute value of shear means we have cal uh, we are asked to calculate abs maximum absolute shear so the shear will be maximum when the udl ud when the cg of this udl will coincidize with the cg of this beam hope you understand cg of this udl must coincidize with the cg of this beam beam at section c then only the then only the abs our shear will be maximum so how we can now we have to place this uh, udl on this beam in such a way that the cg will coincide suppose when the load was moving from left to right it has reached for here and let this distance be x and here it is going to be this and we know that the whole span is 10 meter so it has x the x portion of this whole 10 meter has crossed this section 1 1 and remaining is 10 minus x now we need to calculate the value of x so that we could coincidize the cg of this beam with cg of this load so how we can do this see here so here we need to use the concept of proportionality that is 10 minus x will be proportional to this 5 meter span and this x meter will be proportional to 20 meter so we can write here solution we have 10 minus x upon 5 equals to x upon 20 so 5 4 times 20 so we will have 4 times 10 minus x equals to x from here we will have 40 minus 4x equals to x from here we will have 40 equals to this bring this here this side then we will have 4x plus x this negative this when negative changes the sign of equal to then it gets positive so we will have x equals to 40 divided by 5 from here we will get x equals to 8 meter means we have calculated that this x is 8 meter so we will have 10 minus 8 will be equals to 2 meter means we have calculated the placing of this udl over this beam ab now move further so now we need to find the ordinate under this tip of the load this is the end of this load and here also we have one another end that is here now 
now what we need to do is we have to calculate the area of this portion this much portion and this portion to calculate the value of uh, absolute share for that first of all we need to find the value of this ordinate as well as this ordinate so how we can do this see here we have got the value of this ordinate as 4 upon 5 now here the value of x is again we will use the same concept but this time here it will be a little bit different here we have x equals to x equals to this is our 8 meter and this hole is 20 so 20 minus 8 will be equals to 12 meter so x 20 minus 8 means 12 upon this x upon l so this time we will have x equals to l equals to up to this much portion only because we have only this triangle considered here while calculating this here we are we have only this much portion of the triangle so x is here 12 meter this from here to here it is 12 and l is going to be 20 meter and we need to multiply this value with this value 4 upon 5 this is only the difference so 4 5 times so we will have 12 upon 25 now time for this we will have x value of x equals to this is whole is 5 meter and this is 2 meter so value of x will be equals to 5 minus 2 from here to here it will be 3 so x upon l is 5 multiply by 3 by 5 multiply by this value of this line this ordinate that is 1 by 5 1 by 5 so we will have here 3 upon 25 now uh, we have got this so uh, now we need to calculate the value of shear so see here guys we have this upper portion is taken as positive and this lower portion is taken as negative so value of shear shear not only shear we will write here absolute absolute maximum Share. so we will have a formula here we need to find the area of this much portion and we can easily calculate the area of this much portion that is half multiply by sum of parallel sides parallel sides multiply by length multiply by intensity of load so this is the formula which we will be using here so let us first consider the upper triangle so we will have here half multiply by upper tri triangle is taken as positive so positive half multiply by sum of parallel sides so this this and this sides are parallel so first of all we have 4 upon 5 plus this portion is 12 upon 25 multiply by span so from here to here the distance is 8 meter so 8 multiply by intensity of load and the loading is 20 kN per meter sorry I missed it here we have UDL equals to 20 kN per meter so 20 and close the bracket and then now we need to consider the lower triangle and the lower triangle is negative so minus formula is same half multiply by sum of parallel sides parallel sides means this this and this sides are parallel and the value of ordinate is 1 by 5 plus the value of this ordinate is 3 by 25 3 by 25 multiply by length is 2 multiply by intensity of loading is 20 so now do the simple calculation using the calculator and find the final value of the absolute maximum share so on solving this we will get this value 96 kN this is the value of the absolute shear and put the sign here positive because on subtracting we got the positive sign and if the negative portion was heavy then it we if we got negative sign then it will be negative so we need to put the sign which we got uh, get in the while solving this video uh, finding a solution and uh, uh, I, I hope you understood this uh, lecture and if you have any kind of confusion then you can write me freely at uh, my email which I have provided in the description and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself.